Hi, Jeremy. Hi, Dr. Beam. Nice to see you again. Thank you so much for coming in today. As we mentioned on the phone, we've been looking for some volunteers to help us uh, test out some of these dermatological products we have. Um, we're a cruelty-free company, so we don't test on animals. Um, so we really rely on people to come in and, and, and test these products, make sure there's no adverse reactions before we put them out on the market, okay? Sounds good. So I'm just going to get some information before we begin. Do you currently have any issues with any sort of topical lotion, gel, cr cream, uh, anything like that? Uh, no. No, you've never had reactions? So. No, I haven't. And do you currently have anything on your skin right now? No, I don't. No, no lotions, no soaps, no makeup or anything like no. that? No. Okay. And how often are you wearing things on your face uh, that, uh, like, like lotions, creams, anything like that? Um, just occasionally sunscreen. Sunscreen. Yeah. Never had any issues with that? No, not really. Do you tend to have sensitive skin in general? Do you break out in hives easily? Do you burn easily? Do you uh, get inflamed, red, sweaty, that kind of thing? I would say no. No. Okay. Your skin's looking very clear to me right now as well. Okay. So what I'm going to be doing is starting out on your face. I'm going to test a few items, a few products on your face. Uh, I'll let them sit for a while, mark them, and then do the same thing to your arms. Then I'll come back to the face and see if I've had any reactions. I'm just going to mark this as I go. So starting out the face. All right, so we'll just go ahead and start out on that left side. I know you mentioned you didn't have anything on your face, but just to be safe, we're on a completely clean palette. I'm just going to quickly do a cleanser here. Close your eyes for me. Make sure you just tilt your head back for me. some gloves on as well. I definitely don't want to get any of my oil on your skin. First thing I'm going to test is three different types of liquid soaps, cleansers on your face. So I'm just going to mark the three places. Tilt your head back slightly for me, that's perfect. Is that comfortable enough? Mm -hmm.
just making a note. Got the first product right here in the middle. No initial reaction. Come back to it. Second one at this point here. Third one on top. And we'll just give those a few minutes to see if there's any negative reactions from them. on and test just a couple of face lotions. We're testing these specifically on the cheeks because they are targeted at reducing redness. applying just a little bit on this brush here and I'm gonna just apply it to your face in that square. Let me know if you feel any burning sensation, tingling, discomfort, anything like that, all right? No reactions so far. Just turn your head slightly. That's great. I'm just going to do just a couple here on the forehead here. These are going to be actually makeup products um, that are designed to be specifically gentle for the skin um, and all natural materials. We've just got two here. Two. One on the cheek. So they have some blush and one on the forehead. We've got some concealer. Taking a look before we move on. So far, I think everything looks okay. There's maybe a little bit of redness here on that forehead, so we'll keep watching that. Does everything feel okay and comfortable enough? Yeah, it does. Okay, great. I'm just going to move on to the hair now. We're testing one or two products just at the base of the hairline here. Just do one on one side and one on the other, okay? I'm applying just a little bit to your hair as well, to see if that causes any sort of brittleness or discomfort in the hair. The next is a slight spray. I'm going to first apply it to the back of my hand and then to your hair. the face area. 
do you have several uh, lotions that I'm going to put on your arm here? So I'm going to first just take a quick inspection. I do see a little bit of a mark there, so I'm going to avoid that spot. That just looks like a burn or something, right? Mm -hmm. Okay. All right, let me cleanse this arm for you. Set that down for me. Just relax it there. Is that okay? Mm -hmm. I'm just going to do the palm as well. Okay. First thing I'm going to do is just add a couple boxes here so we can watch them. This particular is a vitamin B5 based moisturizer. One's an aloe based. This one's a soy base, so it's going to be a little bit looser, a little bit more like a gel versus a lotion. Last one is lavender infused. Right, so on the arm we have one, two, three. Four. We'll go ahead and let those sit there for a moment. I'm going to go back and look at your face now. I'm going to look with my light and my magnifying glass here. So close your eyes for me. And we'll start out on this side with that first one. Okay, that's okay. This section, section here is a little bit blotchy. Do you have any dip, in, discomfort there? Any itchiness? Anything like that? Just a little. A little bit? Okay, make a note of that. And section three looks okay. No pain or discomfort there. No. Moving up into the hair here, number one. So we've got a little bit of dryness in the hair, a little bit of crunchiness. So that's definitely not what we want from a soothing cream. Any issue on the scalp itself? Not really. Okay. Let's take a look. Okay. Moving on to this side. Hair looks good. That was a holding spray, so it makes sense that there's a little bit of stickiness, but is that uncomfortable there, itchiness? No. Great. Okay, now taking a look at this section here on your cheek. The bottom section looks clear. The top section looks like it hasn't dried very well, um, which may not be uncomfortable for you per se, but it is not what we're looking for. We don't want to leave people looking oily or wet. I'm just going to make a note of that. 
On your end, does that feel okay? Yeah, it feels fine. Uh, is there, you know, stickiness? Does it feel wet on your skin still? Um, yeah, a little bit, yeah. Okay, all right. So that's not good. We don't want that. Right, moving on to this makeup patch. And I'm looking closely here. Looks like there's good absorption into the skin. It's not quite evenly distributed, but I also did not use an applicator to blush it on, so that's not necessarily an issue. How does that feel for you? It feels fine. It feels fine. And then down here at this rouge, just tilt your hair for me. And obviously there's a little bit of redness, but that's the product. Any issue with discomfort, itching? Um, no. No? Okay. It's a little bit of a smell. Do you smell that? Um, a little bit, yep. Yeah, okay. I'm just going to make a note of that. Great. Go ahead and remove that from your face for you before we look at the arms. I'm just going to have a warm towel here, just a little water, nothing else, okay? And the boxes themselves should come off with just a little soap and water if you wash your face after this, but just want to remove the actual product off your skin so it doesn't continue to irritate if it was bothering you before. Yes, after we finish the session, you can go into the back, into the bathroom. We have some uh, cleanser that's going to take off those lines from what we mark the, the areas, all right? Mm -hmm. All right, let's take a look at that arm for us. All right, so let's take a look at everything. We'll start at the top here at box number one. You actually do have a little bit of raised skin there. How does this one feel? It's a little irritated. A little irritated. That was the lavender. This one okay? Mm -hmm. Looks pretty clear. Excellent. Number three here. And that one was a little bit more of a gel. It's still a little bit wet. I'm just going to make a note of that. Any discomfort? No. Okay. Gels can definitely linger more on the skin. That's not unusual, but we do want to just let people know that that might be the case so they don't put it on and go out and get it on their clothes. And down here to the bottom one, and you've got a little red and patchiness here. Is that itchy at all? Not really. No? Okay. Good to know. Just make a note of it. And that was the B3. Infused. Okay. Alright, Jeremy. I'm just going to remove the product off this part of your skin as well. I want you to do a general scan of your face and your arm there. Is there any uh, discomfort, itchiness, burning, sensation, tingling, anything left on your skin? Um, no. Great. Alright, well we appreciate your help testing these products out. And I'll just get this information to the manufacturers and, and it's, uh, it's really helpful so we really appreciate it. Absolutely. Okay. Thank you so much, Jeremy. Good You're to welcome. see you as always. Good to see you.